Hey, what's up, my ninja Shinobi here with another Diablo 3 Reaper of Souls video for you. Quite a little bit of an update video for you as well, too, before we get into uh, the barb. I'm going to show you the barb today. I want to uh, show you exactly what kind of progressions I'm making towards it. Uh, it still has a little ways to go before I get to where I'm hoping to get to. Uh, a couple different things that I want to try out in the future here, but uh, I am progressing towards that, and I'll show, show you that in just a second. I do want to say... Uh, for the people that have noticed on the YouTube channel, um, for the past five days or so, I didn't put out a video. Uh, my girlfriend, Ellie, uh, you guys know her. She's been on the channel before. She's been on the stream many times, uh, was here uh, visiting me. She can't, you know, legally live here yet, so she has to visit here, and she, you know, her time that she's allowed to stay here, you're only allowed to stay until up certain amount of time so she had to go back to Norway for a bit we're getting her visa stuff situated and hopefully she'll be able to live here permanently pretty soon so I wanted to spend as much time as I could with her over the past couple days so I hope you guys do understand that and thank you for um, understanding um, also for some more news uh, I did get a viewer mail a PO box and I have put it up on the live stream I'll put a link down below so you guys can use that if you want to send in some kind of viewer mail a letter or or something you drew or whatever you know people have been asking for this for a long time and finally I buckled down and bought the PO box and I only have it open for three months um, and if a lot of people send stuff in and I see that it's being used then I'll continue Continue to uh, to go with that. Um, so if you're interested about that, it's right down below in the description. And the final piece of news is that I have uh, you know now that uh, I have more free time and more time that I could actually put towards streaming and YouTube, everything like that. I am going to be putting a lot more videos out, uh, and also I'm going to be streaming seven days a week. So. The link is right down below to follow that, and uh, yeah, and then also, before we get into the barb, a lot of people have be, been asking me about the community on US. I've never actually talked about it in uh, one of my videos before, uh, about how to get into the community and everything like that. So all you do is I'm on US, that's my main is on US. I do play on EU from time to time, but my main is for US, uh, that's where, you know, all of my characters are, you know, like all my 70s and everything like that. But So to show you how to get into that, uh, all you do is you click Find Community, and then you want to go to Streamer's Personality under English, click Search, and we were the third uh, biggest one in that section right now with 4,200 and 4,272 members. And that's just from people from the live stream. I mean, I haven't even talked about this on YouTube before. So if we get everybody in there and we can get uh, we can get going with that and get, uh, you know, get the community bigger and bigger and bigger and people help each other out when I'm streaming I grab people from the community we do runs together I grab people from the clan we do runs together a bunch of different things uh, you know and I'm always trying to help people out uh, any way that I can also on the live stream I'm going to be putting together um, you know a day of the week where I just do gear checks and look at people's gear and help them out so I'll grab people from the community it's a lot easier than adding them to the friends list because you can only have a hundred people on the friends list and with the friends list yeah it's just it just doesn't seem to work out uh, you know quite as well because I'm always having to remove people that aren't inactive so I can put other people on there the community is essentially a bigger friends list where you get to meet a lot of people and play with a lot of people and you know get a lot of benefits like that so hopefully you do check that out um, but all you have to do is just search like that I think you can also type in ninja I think that works too yeah right there you type in ninja I'm pretty sure you can type in shinobi as well and yep, you could do that one too. So yeah, there's a couple different ways you can get in and you automatically get in. You don't have to be invited. You just automatically get in. So let's get into uh, the Barbarian here. I'm going to put this on Torment 3. I was testing something out earlier and I want to show you the gear. I want to show you kind of some of my idea on my direction on where I want to go with this character. Here we are. This is the Barbarian. Uh, this is up unbuffed damage. I don't get any damage from anything, including Weapon Master, because I'm using Mighty Weapons. Mighty Weapons give you one Fury per hit. We're going to talk more about that in just a little bit. 
So this is unbuffed damage. I can get my damage up much higher um, than this. And also I'm trying to get a witching hour for the belt. And I'm also trying to reroll this to be a trifecta amulet with the really cool property, prevent all lightning damage taken and heal yourself for 11% of the prevented damage. Um, I'm trying to get crit chance on that and my damage is probably going to be somewhere around 1.2 million unbuffed and that's before using battle rage or anything like that just trying to get that up there uh, but let's go over some of the items that i found and also the gear that i have and the spec that i'm doing then i'll show you a little preview and what it actually looks like uh for this and uh okay so Right off the bat, we do have the uh, shoulders here, pauldrons of the Skeleton King. Just the best shoulders that I've found so far, stat-wise. The special property is okay. I mean, it's not something I really need to use or anything like that. Uh, but it's okay, and it gets the job done. I would have preferred to have all resist on here instead of lightning, lightning resist, but uh, that's just how it goes. Uh, then we also have, this is the amulet right here that I'm trying to replace. It's, it's such a pain in the butt to replace amulets and rings. Probably the hardest items in the game to replace. And uh, yeah, so it's going to take me a little while. Just got to keep re-rolling this and hopefully uh, we'll be able to get that going. Uh, then we have the uh, four piece. You can see that I do have the four piece right here because I have the ring of royal grandeur. Uh, so I'm right, trying to re-roll crit chance on this as well too. This game just hates me when it comes to re-rolling items. Uh, it takes me forever usually, uh, but I'm sure a lot of people go through that as well too. Uh, but yeah, it reduces the number of items needed for set bonuses by one. People are probably really going to hate me because I found Reign of Royal Grandeur as the first legendary that I found when Reaper of Souls went live. And this is actually the second one that I found and people are still trying to hunt for it. So <laughs> sorry for the... Uh, throwing that in your face <laughs> but it, it's not even that great uh stat wise though but if it makes you feel any better uh so anyways we got the raycore set here um four piece so far looking for the final one more piece so i can get that furious charge uh gains the effect of every rune and we'll go a little bit more into that in just a second so yeah just pretty much had to roll to get crit chance here um, then we have the gloves here, which I would have liked to have trifecta instead of the vitality there, but I had to roll to get crit damage, and that's just how it was. Uh, but still, not bad. I've seen people get a lot worse of these before. Um, I have the Blackthorns chest piece, just because it's the best chest piece that I've found so far. Uh, as you can see, I'm missing two of the top tier gems here. Um, I'm going to be working on that. It's just you, you have to find so many rubies in order to upgrade to get five of these, you know, so it'll take some time, uh, but I'll, it will, it'll happen soon. And then, yeah, so that's pretty much the best that I've gotten from here so far, looking for a chess piece upgrade. Uh, using the Reaper's Wraps, um, uh, these, uh, this item itself uh, had some problems because the uh, the material wouldn't drop off of Maltheo like it's supposed to, and now they have fixed that, and this is the very first Reaper's Wraps that I rolled. I got Fire Damage, Strength, Vitality, and then I re-rolled to get Crit Chance, and the first Crit Chance I got was 6%, which is great, and I had the Health Glows restore 30% of your primary resource, which helps out with this spec. Uh, that's why I don't have any uh fury generators in here whatsoever uh and some other reasons as well too that i'll get into uh but yes it is fire unfortunately and i am using lightning for the majority of my damage so uh does kind of suck but i do use fire over here for this uh, i'm gonna start once i get the set pieces the way i want them i'm gonna start building up some elemental damage to try and just really push the effective dps in this spec uh then i have hellcat uh waste guard uh, almost max strength there, almost 500. Uh, max attack speed, which is great. Vitality is not a huge factor, so it's okay. The elite damage is kind of low, but that's okay. Um, you know, I would like to get Witching Hour. That would be really great. But this is, I've actually seen people link me Witching Hours that were pretty good, and I was losing damage uh, than using this. So, you know, we'll see. Uh, but there are better belts out there. Uh, I also have Leorix uh, right here, which is pretty interesting because I got a trifecta on it, and it is max bonus experience uh, on there. So not bad at all. 
but uh, I would like to get a unity ring uh, in the future. If you get two unity rings, you put one on your character and one like on your Templar. And say you have the thing on your Templar, the thing that says your Templar can't die or something like that. I have the one that gives you all skills right now, but I have the can't die one on another uh, character. Um, if you have that, then it's, it's really, really, really strong. So, um, yeah, definitely because you can pretty much be super tanky uh, if you have that. So I'd like to get that eventually. Uh, here is the other Raycor uh, pants here that I have. Strength, Vitality. It, had, it came, this is pretty much how the item came. It came with one socket, right? And then it had the Frenzy damage. And I'm like, okay, do I get rid of the Frenzy damage and pick up armor? Because <clears throat> I couldn't pick up Resist All because you already have Lightning damage on there, right? So I was like, okay, do I get armor, which I already have, almost 15,000, so it barely would have moved my mitigation by getting armor, or do I just keep the frenzy on there, re-roll uh, the one socket, and get two sockets, and I did that, and luckily I got two sockets, so not bad, um, but not ideal, I would have liked the frenzy to be something else, but who knows, maybe I can do something with that frenzy one day, frenzy is not a horrible skill, um, you know, there, there are some things we've done in the past with that. Then we have the Firewalker's boots. I'm trying to get new boots. These are just the best ones that I've found so far. Um, so, yeah, it's pretty much the, the way that, uh, pretty much what I've had to get here. But they are okay. You know, they do damage, and I'm whirlwinding around, right? So things are taking extra damage. It's just add, extra added on damage, but not too fantastic. Then we have the uh, set piece here. How do you say it? Is it Bull Cathos or Bull Cathos? People... People say one thing, other people say the other thing, whatever. A BK, a BK, that's what I'm calling it. But anyways, uh, yeah, <laughs> this isn't your English class, this is just gaming. <laughs> so anyway, getting into that. Uh, why am I using this? You may think, Shinobi, I mean, come on, get Shard of Fate, get Thunder Fury, get these things. Why are you using this set? Like, you know... I do have Thunder Fury, and it's actually really good, but the problem is, is I've done some testing between Thunder Fury and the this set right here, and this actually puts out 20 to 30 percent more damage uh, by doing this, and I've timed, you know, how long it takes me to kill certain things, and this has just been faster. If I had, you know, because this does um, lightning damage on the Thunder Fury thing, if I had plus lightning and stuff like that, then sure. Maybe I would go with the Thunder Fury. But for now, this is kind of, you know, just kind of working for me. So, and plus you do with the uh, with the Weapon Master, you do get, you know, 8% increased damage for swords if I were to put Thunder Fury in my main hand. But it's still, even with that, it's still, this still does more damage. I've tested it a lot. And, uh, you know, but if I get another weapon, like I do have the Mad Monarch Scepter which he's using right now, and if I, you know, I didn't get strength on it, unfortunately, I had to reroll the intellect to get a socket, so, you know, this is a definitely a good item, and it rolled really nice damage-wise and everything like that, uh, with a combination of this one and Thunder Fury, it's a, it's a good viable way to go, but this is also good too, and I like to kind of switch between them, so, um, you know, and also Shard of Hate is getting nerfed really soon, so, because <laughs> uh, they just posted it up on uh, the Diablo 3 website uh, right before I made this video, so, uh, but let's talk about what it is you get out of this, so the two piece you get 250 strength, 10 maximum fury, plus you get 10 maximum fury from each item. This one gives me 10, this one gives me 11. So I get 31 additional maximum fury. I'm at 131 fury, which is nice for being able to do this for a lot longer. Okay, uh, and then the little spinny thing you just saw happen there, the proc. Now, a chance on attack to whirlwind ferociously for 325% weapon damage as physical every second for six seconds. That's 325, 325, 325, 325, and it, such and so forth, right? With with Thunder Fury, it's, it's a proc, and it jumps up to five targets. So if I have a bunch of things around me, uh, yeah, sure, the range can be a little bit better on Thunder Fury, but you would have to proc Thunder Fury every second for six seconds, every time, to 
equal out what this what this combination does. And the thing is, is this procs almost off anything. Check this out. Oh, there we go. Procced. I didn't even hit anything. I didn't even hit anything, and it procced, and it's already going. This is literally when you're running, when you run into a pack of monsters. This is literally going 24/7. It's literally spin, spin, spin. It's essentially adding 325% weapon damage as physical on top of the 275% uh, weapon damage on here. So it's more than doubling the whirlwind damage essentially in you know that area of whirlwind. So it does work out. Um, and, you know, it is pretty good. Now, what you do with the Mighty Weapon, though, is you get the one Fury per hit as well. Plus, I'm using this, which gives me one Fury per hit as well. Plus, I'm using Unforgiven, which you no longer degenerate Fury. Instead, generate two Fury per one second. So, that's... And plus, also, with Templar, I'm also getting... Um, this right here too, Fury generated 10% increase as well because I have all that. So if I go to show you uh, real quick here, let's go to, I don't know, Festering Woods, I guess, That's something. And let's, let's just get my Fury down just a little bit. Let's find like a decent pack over here. It's a, okay, here we go. So you go, whoop, and look at my Fury going up. See that? Now the only downside is like single target. Single target can be something that kind of sucks and you can pick up those health globes there, get your fury back up too. And this guy, <laughs> of course this would be the pack that I would get for the video, the ones that just like run away all the time. Okay, so you're dead. Another pack right here, reflect damage. Don't have Wrath of Berserker. So just like, let's see what the speed looks like without Wrath of Berserker. This is Torment 3, and yep, yeah, so you can see that my Fury is doing just fine uh, by going through here. So I don't even need any Fury generators, uh, which is nice. So uh, uh, I was like, wow, that actually almost looked okay. So let me go ahead and show you the spec now so you can see what kind, what it kind of looks like here. So I saw, showed you the gear. Now, what, wait, before I get into that... <laughs> What am I trying to do in the future? What am I trying to do as far as gear goes? Uh, I want to get the five piece, which is great, but also I have some other stuff too. I have the the Earth set, the earthquake set, where when you cause an earthquake after landing from leap, uh, this is something that I would like to do in the future too. Is get this set going together, make some videos about that. Um, so that's one thing that's also really cool. And also the Mortal King set, I want to test out as well. So I'm going to be testing like crazy. Um, yeah, with all that stuff. And so let's go ahead and look into the spec here. So I'm using uh, Avalanche with Volcano. Lots of burst damage. Helps out, especially on the single target stuff. And then it does good damage. So then it has fire, because like my bracers too. Whirlwind with Wind Shear, uh, using that. Uh, Battle Rage with Bloodshed, so critical hits cause an explosion of blood, dealing 20% of damage to all other nearby enemies. So more AoE stuff. I have Overpower with Killing Spree to give me that crit chance, which is nice. And also does some damage. Uh, sprint with Marathon for some mobility. And Wrath of the Berserker with Insanity. Using Unforgiving as I talked about. Brawler to get some more increased damage. Weapon Master for that extra Fury per hit. And also Rampage. Uh, which is huge when you stack it up a bunch of times. You can see what your damage can get to. And also, um, if you do have some problems with some Fury generation or something like that, like when you're on a boss fight or something, because single target is going to be like the situ situation where you may run out of Fury, uh, because you're not killing things that are dropping health globes and stuff like that, uh, then you may want to take out Sprint right before you get into the boss fight and just pick up anything that gives you Fury. Like there's a lot of different Fury generators out there. 
uh, as well. But that's pretty much it, guys. I'm going to start up the live stream, continue on the journey of getting the uh, the barb going. I played a lot of uh, Demon Hunter in the beginning of Reaper of Souls because they said they were going to be really good in the beginning of Reaper of Souls, and they were. Uh, but also, the classes that are like more gear-dependent are going to start shining now. You're going to see them being able to do higher torment and things like that. And I will be playing on higher torment on, uh, on the live stream. So for the people out there that think that Whirlwind is, you know, resting in peace right now, this is a pretty viable way of doing uh, the Whirlwind Barb. There are other ways of doing it as well, too. You don't have to have this two-piece set here. Just try and get the two best weapons that you can. Be creative with it. And I'd like to hear about what you guys did in the comment section below. Thanks a lot for your support, guys. We just hit 55,000 subscribers. It's amazing. Maybe I'll make some kind of montage thank you video when we get to 60,000 or something like that. It's just been happening so quickly, I can't even keep up with it. So, thanks again for your support. You guys are awesome. My name is Shinobi, and until next time, thanks for watching.